Hi, my name is Kent Van Dyke, and I'm going to show you how to chop some things because knife skills in the kitchen make it easier to do cooking regularly, especially with your kids over March break. Anytime we cut something round, we want to make flat surfaces because it's kind of dangerous. So we've got a zucchini here, so it's round, so we always cut it down through the center first, so you have flat sides. Okay? Makes it way simpler. When you hold the knife, grip the blade, wrap your fingers around the knife, and then you want to try to keep the tip on the board as much as possible and roll your wrist. The other thing you want to do is keep your fingers curled so that they stay out of the way so you don't have any chance of cutting them off. Okay? And then all you do is a simple rocking motion and you just pull your finger back. Helps to adjust the thickness of whatever it is you're cutting. The knife never leaves the board and it never rises any higher than the thing that you're trying to cut. And then here's one thing, people dull their knives cutting things like peppers and onions because they always cut into the skin. Cut into the flesh and it will protect your knife a little bit longer. So same thing with this, you're going to grip it, keep the knife tip on the board as much as possible. And what we're doing here is just a simple julienne, okay? Thin strips. And just keep moving the pepper and keep the knife on the board as much as possible. Now, one of the things that's really important is to make sure that your knife is sharp. So, a lot of people have these probably in their kitchen. Uh, they probably got it with a knife set that they got maybe for a wedding gift or something like that, and they probably never ever used it. This is called a honer. Okay? Your knife should be sharp. This helps keep it sharp. So, you're going to grip it tightly with your non-dominant hand. You're going to grab your knife, put it in the palm of your hand, put the finger on the blade, and at a 22 degree angle, roughly speaking, that's what you're going to use to hone your blade. And you always start with the heel. This is the heel of the knife. That's the tip. And you go all the way along the blade. And then you just twist your wrist, pull the knife back, and go up the other side. And all you should need to do is five or six passes on the knife before you use it. And then when you're done using it, put five or six passes across the knife before you put it away. So you always know when you go to grab it, in case you forget to hone it, that it should be sharp every time. And that's how you use your knife safely and effectively in the kitchen. And it's a great skill to teach your kids. And if you get your kids involved in the kitchen early, then it's going to be much easier later on when they need to cook for themselves to feel more comfortable in the kitchen. I think a lot of people are afraid because they think their children are going to cut themselves or hurt themselves. That's why they don't let them use knives very often. But I think if you let them, if you teach them how to do it properly and you work with them and they go slow to start, then there'll be no problems. As long as your fingers are curled in, it's really hard to cut yourself.